what is going on YouTube? How are we? Um, you have to excuse it, I'm all bunged up with the cold, but I want to talk to you a little bit about 3D printing today. Well, not so much 3D printing, but the new potential, well, the new printer that Bamboo's been looking to release. So, from doing a bit of research, um, Bamboo haven't released the printer since December last year, which was around about the same time um, they started teasing. Um, they, they were teasing about, um, I, th I think it was late December, early December, they started teasing images of printers and stuff. I'll try and find the, the, the actual advertisement if I can still find it. And um, they were teasing and they released the A1. So we all thought that it was, well, the A1 Mini actually. A lot of people, I believe, thought that it was going to be the large format printer that everyone's looking at or looking for, but it wasn't. It turned out it was the A1 Mini was released. Um, and then subsequently, obviously, the A1, um, which was maybe a bit of a step back for Bamboo, how they said that uh, bed slings were obsolete and slow, but we've proven they're not. They're actually quite, they're quite good. I don't have one personally, but from all the reviews I've watched, it's actually quite a... It's a good printer, it is. I mean, reliable. Um, so that was a little bit of a shock. So with all these new printers that are coming to the market, like uh, the Cobra 3, the... Uh, la -la -la, the K2, which has just been released, the large format one, the Cobra 3, which is a small format, but it's a colour printer. And also now the uh, Prusa just released the, uh, it's called the Prusa Core. Let's take a picture there. And obviously you've got the Prusa XL, which is the multi-head changer, which is thousands. It's about 3.99 or 3.49, so I'll put a picture of it here with the price. So anyway, the, uh, these pictures were teased on, I think I saw them on Facebook. Um, so then I went, got the old detective hat on and we went swiftly over to Reddit and we started looking for the, the, the images on Reddit. So the image that I originally found is this one here. And what that shows is the new machine dimension. So if, as you can see, it's uh, 492 by 514 by 626. Um, so quite feasibly, this could have prob a potential of a 350 by 350 by 350 cubed um, build volume, which is very, very similar to uh, the Solvol SV08, which is there, uh, some larger Vorons, and obviously the K2. Uh, the K2 um, dimensions are pretty much the same. I've just got them written down here. They're 495. I'll put a picture of the K2 here with the dimensions, but it's 495 by 515 by 640. So we are well within the, 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 the spec for having a 350 by 350 by 350 build volume on the new H2D. Um, so, you know, you know, what can we expect from the, the new printer? I'm looking for my bag down here. Um, you know, this is potentially could be quite an interesting thing. Um, you know, the, the picture also shows the new AMS, uh, AMS Pro, which is, you know, it's showing the, the, the volumes of the AMS is 372 by 280 by 226. Current AMS size, which is here, is 368 by 283 by <clears throat> 224, sorry, excuse me. Um, so the build volume potentially could be 350 by 350 by 350, which is what a lot of people have been looking for, the larger build volume. But it's also going to make the printer massive. And, um, you know, as you can see, the um, P1S with the AMS is, is, is fair size, fair, as you know, it's a fair size. The Sovol's massive, absolutely massive. And then you think putting the, the AMS on top of the, you know, some of the size of a Sovol SV08, it's going to be big. It is going to be a big printer. But... Looking further into it, you know, is it going to be any better than the current printers we've got? Um, obviously, it's releasing it, I would suggest, to potentially go up against the K2. Um, because Bamboo haven't put some out there for quite a while. Um, and from looking at reading some of the posts on Reddit, people have actually spoken to them at the, 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 the Bamboo Labs booths and stuff at some of the, the events they've been to apparently they're not looking for a size they're looking to you know finesse the printing so we all know that the big bugbear with um bamboos is obviously the waist and um, the poop shoots at the back um 
Potentially, with the new tool head, which there's a picture here, it shows that it's a dual extruder. So not a dual extruder, a dual hot end assembly. Now, what could this mean? This could mean potentially that you're not going to have as much waste, um, potentially. You know, you're not gonna have, you know, the current the current line would be the printer would go to change filament, um, it'd go to the end of, it'd go to the corner of the bed, uh, cut the filament um, and obviously travel back, which is, you can see the overlay here. Travel back, pull the extra out, uh, put the new filament in and all that sort of stuff. So potentially, you know, we could be reducing the amount of waste. Um, I'm not really sure what the wastage is on K2 Plus, but obviously some, you know, from, from what people are saying, it, it's it's not terrible. From what I understand, whereas the bamboos, you know, again, it's all that you settings in your slicer. I'm not a, an expert with this, but looking at the new AMS, um, it's it's marketing. I think it what was it marketing as the AMS Pro. So what you know what potential could we pro about it? It's probably got a built-in dryer. Realistically, um, you know that's why I can only see the difference being really. Um, but obviously, when you look at the K2, um, it's just it's a carbon copy basically of a P1S, but just a damn sight bigger on the X1 carbon. Um, I think that's currently on sale at 12.99. I, I won't be buying it. Um, but it's it is a large format printer. Um, so, you know, looking at the, the picture of the new potential hot end with the mo moving, you know, you've got the gearing at the top, two hot ends. Uh, it looks like it's a single extruder, uh, sorry, single, yeah, single extruder assembly on the rear. Um, not really sure how that's going to affect it or how it's going to work, but it looks like it'll reposition the, the hot end. Again, you know, we could be looking at extra materials, potential. Um, I think, you know, some of them, you know, you could probably run it extra materials you can maybe run a dual hot with dual hot end you know you can run one as a hardened hot end for printing like more abrasive materials like um carbon fiber and all that sort of stuff um versus your pla ptg all that sort of you know the the less exotic materials like abs and stuff and um, but as you can see from the design it is fully enclosed so you're looking at it's but you know it is going to have the capability of printing the more exotic exotic material like the carbon fiber the abs all that sort of stuff, which requires the, the, the temperature of the chamber and the enclosure, which is, you know, something. So the, the other image it was released would look like it was um, how they're going to manage the uh, feeding of the filament to the, the actual hot end. So as you would expect, um, if you're going to daisy chain AMSs, which I haven't, um, you, you, you obviously you need the hub. Um, because you know this image, which should be on screen right about now, looks like it potentially could do the same sort of thing, um, you know. But like I said, when you look at the the, the system itself, it's, I'll put it back on screen now. You know, it looks like it's going to be able to do that. You know, what you expect from a bamboo is you know the the the, the clean, crisp corners, the carb, you know, the the chassis, the metal chassis, you know, the metal panels on the side, you know, something that is quality. Um, but again, it's up against the K2. You know, I think K2, Creality, I don't know if they're having any issues with the K2. I've not been fortunate to even, you know, see one, let alone test one. But I think it's going to be some exciting times. I think potentially we could see this drop, sorry, excuse me. Quarter one, quarter two of 25. Pricing point. I don't know. I, I just, I, I don't know. I think it will be, if you're talking dollars wise, you're talking about 1500 I would suggest. Um, roughly, that's probably about uh, 11 to 1200 pounds English. But, you know, what, what can we expect from this sort of thing? It's going to be busy. Um, it's going to be an exciting time. I think we are fortunate that we are going to get some really good upgrades with the new H2D. Um, H2. That's probably going to be the, the flagship line, and the, the H is probably going to be a flagship line. The 2D was dual extruder, maybe, or dual hot end, maybe. I'm not. I'm not sure, but yeah, looks like we're some in for some exciting upgrades. Um, just put my little my little farm to shame, I think. So maybe looking in the future to upgrade once the the price comes down. Um, with the hot end and everything, dual hot end potentially it's going to make the printing faster probably just as reliable as these two things now but yeah a little bit of a talk on what i think you know is coming in the next 
six months, well, three to six months potentially. Um, but like I say, no one knows when uh, Bamboo are actually going to release this. I think this was just a leak. Um, some of the pictures, like I said, I've used today, I've got from Reddit. They've potentially been around for a while, especially the picture of the hot end and all that sort of stuff um, and the carrier. But anyway, hopefully you found this semi-useful, um, something a little bit different for the channel. Um, I'm trying to mix it up the content a little bit. Um, hopefully you're enjoying it. But anyway, guys, this is Chris in the captain's quarters in a little print farm today. Um, yeah, I've got a motorbike video coming out uh, later in the week, uh, probably at the weekend. And if we get the weather, we'll have some more content like that and potentially some more beer reviews. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch stuff. Because like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll always have videos. Peace out. Happy printing. We'll catch you in the next one.